What's up, my beautiful people? Crawler Chris here from Drama Side of RC. Hey, check this out. As you know, Axial Fest is right around the corner. Yeah, and guess who's going? Yes, this guy will be there. Absolutely. So, with that being said, this June, Drama Side of RC will be in Attica, Indiana. I have to go there in style, right? Drama Side of RC has got to show up in style. It's got to. So what do I do? And if you've seen Facebook, you don't already know what I got. But if you haven't, check this out. <coughs> yeah. Axial Rift. That's just one of them, though. I got another surprise. I had to get one. I don't have a rock racer. And Drama Sidle RC needed one. So I had to get one. But I want to get into this thing. Got to check it out. See if there's any kinks or anything. See if there's anything I need to work out before I, uh, you know, go all the way to Indiana and get there. Got a machine that wants to break down on me every 10 minutes. Or you never know. Out of the box, this thing might be a beast. Who knows? Well, we're definitely going to find out. Ooh. Smell that? Smell it when you are seed, baby. Love that smell. Oh, I got some extra bones here. What the hell is that? Maybe just some packaging. I don't know what it is. What's this? A DX3. Yep, DX3. Really neat technology. Haven't looked into that stuff too much. But I guess it's time to start. I'm kind of going into this blind here. Yeah. So now that this thing's unboxed, um, let's get into some of the techno mumbo jumbo. Um, six channel receiver, Spectrum. Um, of course, I kind of mentioned a little bit about uh, what is it the DSMR or something like that um, it's, it's just smart technology really cool something Spectrum came out with it tells you you know your battery level um, of the vehicle you have to have special batteries obviously which I don't have the batteries for this but I'll eventually get some um what else? They're not locked diff. Pretty loose. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if that's a bad thing. This is my first rock racer, so you guys are going to learn about this thing with me. And either we're going to learn the easy way or we're going to learn the hard way. One of the two. <laughs> so, what else? Um, it's got plastic links on the bottom. I don't really like that too much. Plastic drive shafts, plastic axles, but it does have metal uh, axle plates on them, or diff covers, whatever you want to call them. Nice, supple, aggressive tires. Real aggressive. But, of course, those will probably get changed out. Because if you know me, I love to upgrade shit. If you don't know me, I love to upgrade shit. The servos, uh, Spectrum... S614S. Spectrum product. So I'm assuming it's good. What else can I tell you about this thing? Other than it's really cool. Uh, 130 amp ESC. That's pretty strong. For this caliber of vehicle. But, this thing is bad to the moan. Check this out. Huh. 
Oh, yes. Can you guys taste that? Uh, can I look up your skirt, sir? Did I say sir? I did. Uh. Pardon me. You have any gray poop on? No. Cool stickers. Love the color scheme. Had to go with the black and green. Obviously, oh, excuse my finger there. I can get it out of the way. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I'm pretty excited to see this thing run. What about you? What do you think? Should we get out there and hit the trails? All right. Look at that. Man, the articulation in this thing is incredible, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. I was really excited to get this thing and get it home and get it unboxed for you guys. <clears throat> show you what, uh, show you what I see. But it feels pretty rigid. Uh, I'm not liking that suspension too much. I don't like how the shocks are digging on the threads here. I hate that. But that could be fixed, no problem. Can't wait, y'all. All right, stay tuned. There will be a running video for this soon.